Good morning, everybody. This is breakfast time again. Hallelujah. Happy new week and happy stress-free week in Jesus Christ's name. For the past two weeks, we've been talking about cancer. I remember the first day we talked about, the first week we talked about taking and uh, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. And through that scripture, we saw that cancer can be can be likened to advice, instruction, directions. And we take counsel from people because one, we trust them. Because two, we know them. Three, because we think they understand us. And four, we think they can so give us solution. Praise the Lord. They can help us out. Hallelujah. And then last week we talked about taking counsel from God. And we consider why people don't take counsel from God. And we saw that people, we think that God is just too way, way far from us. Hallelujah. You know, God, though the Bible says his thoughts are not our thoughts, his ways are not our ways. But that doesn't mean God is not with us. Hallelujah. And we also think that God does not see us, does not feel us, does not know our pains. So we, fit, we want to talk with that brother, we want to talk with that sister, we want to talk with that man that can see us, that can feel our pains. Listen. There is nobody, there, 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 you cannot feel, is a mother of a child is the one that feels the cry of the child much. Praise the Lord. So God feels you. I said he feels your pains because why he conceived you in his love even before the foundation of the earth was established. So he feels you. He's a priest that can be touched with our infirmity. I remember the book of Genesis when Hagar was in a situation with his son. He, there was no water for the little boy. And the Bible makes us to understand. Hagar sat somewhere and began to cry. And the angel of the Lord came and said, why are you crying? And it, uh, there is nothing to give to this boy. And God looked and showed her where the water was. Praise Master Jesus. What am I trying to say? And at the end of that conversation with Hagar and the angel, he said, is God has yet my afflictions. So God sees your afflictions. You can be very, very sure that he sees you. I want to reassure you that God sees your afflictions. He knows everything about you. He's interested. He's seeking. His, his, his thought for you is just absolutely of good and not of evil. Praise the Lord. And most times we think God is too slow to respond. No, God is not slow. God works with times and seasons. Each man, each, each man and woman, every man and woman has times, I beg your pardon, and they have seasons. So you have your time, you have your seasons. He returns to each one of us according to the times of life. Praise Master Jesus. So let's not be in a hurry. I said he speaks through the uh, he speaks through his words. He speaks through his prophet or anybody. He speaks through circumstances and situation. And another thing again, I want to talk about under that word when God speaks. God speaks with precision. Praise the Lord. God speaks with precision, and He works with strategies, and He expects us as His children to obey Him. Praise the Lord. I don't know what you've been asking God for for the past weeks. For months, for the past years, I don't know what you've been seeking God's counsel, directions for. But listen, God speaks with precision. It's not like the devil. Instead of him to come out and tell Jesus, worship me. But he took him to high pinnacle. He said, bow down. And you know, he will give his angels charge over you. He turns around. He turns around. Praise the Lord. He just turned, turned in order to deceive people, to convince people. Praise the Lord. But God speaks with precision. Precision means accurate, exact careful that is careful he watched the details he has seen the eye he has dot the eye he has crossed the t so he speaks with precision praise master jesus so the text will be taken from the book of jo joshua chapter one sorry i beg your pardon chapter six from one to five praise the lord he said now the gates of jericho were tightly shut because the people were afraid of the israelites no one was allowed to go in or out but the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho, its king and all the mighty warriors. This was a precise word. And every precise word you hear from God, what it does is build you up. It strengthens you. It empowers you. And it's like a push in your inside that, that makes you take a bold step in the outside. Praise Master Jesus. And this is what he says here. He said, your entire army is to march around the city once a day for six days. This is strategy. It says seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying ram's horn. On the seventh day, you are to march around the city seven times with the priest blowing the horns. It says when you hear the priest give one long last blast on the horns, have all the people give a mighty shout. Then the walls of the city will collapse and the people can charge straight 
into the city. That is the NIV. Praise the Lord. What is it? He gave a strategic way, a strategic way to conquer the city. Praise Master Jesus. And one thing I also want to say, God works differently. Praise the Lord. The fact that he works with Jericho like this, well, that was not the way he worked with I. Praise Master Jesus. You know, he gave a strategic a strategic way to, 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 to win a battle. Praise the Lord. And when God is talking to us, God expects us to obey. It may not make sense to us. Under normal circumstances, this way to win the battle that the Bible stated does not make sense to any man. It's like I'm sending somebody or God is telling somebody to go to Yemen. Seeing all the war, the, seeing the, the disaster that is in that land and seeing all the, 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 the ammunition for war. And he said, just walk around Yemen. Don't say anything. Don't don't say, just be walking around. As you are walking on the seventh day, you will disactivate all the machine guns and everything for war. Praise the Lord. It does not make sense. Though it does not make sense, God wants you to obey Him, and in your obedience to His words, that is where your victory comes. Even before the even before you present yourself in the battle. That is when your victory comes. So, what are you trusting God for? What have you been asking? What have you been taking counsel from? Uh, what have you been seeking counsel from God for? And though He has been saying it, but to you, you are just looking at it. it does not make sense. It does not make sense. It does not make sense. How, how am I going to do this? How am I going? To... Yes, it may not make sense to you, but remember, God is all knowing. He has seen the. He has dotted the eyes and He has crossed the teeth. He is all knowing. What He wants you to do. Is just to obey his instruction. Praise the Lord. Remember, he gave a specific directions. He told them, when you further read on, he said, when you get to that, when, when you get to Jericho, destroy everything totally. Don't pick anything out. The only thing you are going to bring out is the gold, is the silver, is the bronze. That is mine. And nobody should touch. Anyone that touch has, will be destroyed and will bring problem to Israel. Praise the Lord. He gave, he gave clear instructions. Excuse me. He gave clear instructions. Praise Master Jesus. So, God gives clear instructions and he wants you to follow. God gives strategic way to win battles, strategic way to run programs. He wants you to follow. The fact that it worked for Mr. A like this is not going to work like that for you. That's why you need to constantly seek God. When we look at chapter 7, we saw that when I, a small town, defeated Israel, then Joshua had to ask God what has happened. God, why? Though he didn't consult God before going anyway, you know. But he asked God what has happened. And God told them in verse 10, 7, 10, he says, But the Lord said to Joshua, Get up. Why are you lying on your face like this? Israel had sinned and had broken my covenant. They have stolen the things that I commanded them to set apart for me. And they have not only stolen them, they have also lied about it and hidden the things among their belongings. So God gives precise. God sees everything. God knows everything. God has gone ahead of you. That's why he's telling you to do it like that. Are you going into a ministry? God is telling you run it like that. But to you, nobody has done it like that. That is your own. You do it like that. Are you, are you getting married? And God is telling you when you get to that house, this is how to do it. And to you, nobody has done it like that. That is your own pattern. Praise Master Jesus. God work with God work diversely with people. Praise the Lord. The fact that in my house, God, God is helping me to run it like this. That does not mean that's how God wants you to run it. My friend, my brother, my sister, it may not make sense, but just do it. It's going to profit you a lot. Have a stress-free week in Jesus Christ's name. I will not fail to invite you. This weekend, we have our meeting women on the mission in Pamplona. Praise the Lord. As I've always said, last Saturday of the month is our meeting day. So if you reside around Pamplona, please be our guest. Hallelujah. Be our guest and then we'll, we'll be tagging the poster along with the video. Stay blessed. God bless you. Have a stress-free week in Jesus Christ's name. Remember, I said God speaks with precision and work with strategies. So be conscious of that. Bye-bye for now. Hallelujah. Amen.